Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and way down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today we're going to be talking about what self-harm alternatives I use in the hopes of helping you get through your self-harm urges. Now I can't make a video where I give advice on how to stop self-harming because everyone self-harms in a different way and we all do it for our own reasons but I can share what I do to help with my self-harm measures. The first thing that I do is I take additional medication. I take lorazepam which I did last night because I was having self-harm urges. So yesterday I took lorazepam as well as my normal meds and it knocked me out in about an hour. So I slept. I slept through my alarms this morning as well. So that's not so good. I didn't take my morning meds till quarter past 10. Oopsie. Another thing I do is I play with sensory toys. So for example, we have a tangle toy, a stress toy, neither of which I've opened yet. I've got a box full of sensory toys. If you haven't seen my distraction box, crisis box, whatever you want to call it box, I'll link it on the iCard up there. But basically my distraction box serves as a box filled with things that I can use to distract myself from my urges, whether that's suicidal thoughts, hallucinations, self-harm urges, it just covers everything. Another thing I do is I go out, which I have to have a diazepam for because my anxiety is just horrific at the minute. But I take lorazepam and I go out, go out and get food, go shopping. I don't need to do any more shopping, believe me. Another thing I like to do is read. I recently finished reading A Promise of a Paradox. I can't pronounce it. This book. It was a really good book. I would highly recommend that series. There's book three coming out next year, which I'm going to get when it comes out. Another thing that I do is listen to music. I put my AirPods in, turn my music up full, and I just jam out to some metal music. Another thing I do is I call my grandparents. Now me and my grandparents are very close, and we FaceTime every day. I'm going on holiday with them in a week. I've already been on holiday when you're seeing this, but I'm going on holiday with them on the 2nd of September till the 8th of September, which leads me on to my next distraction technique, which is scrapbooking. Now, let me grab my scrap. This is my scrapbook. I've finished this one now, but it's got so many memories in it. I'm currently working on a scrapbook for my grandparents' doggos. If you don't know what their doggos look like, here's Martha, here's Minnie. I love the little doggos. Another distraction technique I use is to make YouTube videos. Making a YouTube video is therapeutic for me. My favourite part of doing YouTube is the editing. For anyone who doesn't know, I want to become a professional. I want to become a professional editor. I'm not interested in being a director, producer, anything like that. I want to edit. Though I do want to produce a documentary, and I'm working on it. I think I've got funding secured to do it as well. So hopefully, another thing I do is dye my hair. In case that wasn't obvious. I'm ready for the. I when this fades out, I'm gonna bleach my hair, and I'm gonna use this. So that's another distraction technique that I use. Ooh. 
Men om, men om. Du, 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 du. Men om, men om. That's been stuck in my head since fucking December. I got my grandparents' doggos new toys for Martha's birthday. They squeak. <laughs> I also want to quickly say that this this book is really good. And if you've got a kid that's a bit anxious about going back to school, I would recommend this. It's it's a perfect way of explaining anxiety to young children. And I think it's a really good book. And yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you are new to me, you probably won't know this. I have a Patreon. Actually, I'll link on the iCard up there and put on screen now. Um, yeah, Patreon helps me out a lot. So, if you want bonus content, that's where to go. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.